guys, this is Cameron with Fishing Addicts Northwest and God Catching Guide Service. And today we're anchored up real tight to the shore. We're fishing in just a real soft seam line. And so I've got one of many ways to fish a herring on anchor. Okay, so first off, what I like to do is have a six to eight inch dropper that's set up on a sliding swivel that can slide up and down the line to a bead chain. And then to a 200 pound bumper, which I use even for my flashers. This one happens to be 20 inches to another bead chain, and then a heavy float. Make sure that your float that you're using for this setup is a high density float because the softer foam floats will tend to crush under the pressure of water that you're fishing at any kind of depth. Followed up again by a bead chain. And then down to your bait. This bait could be a whole body herring, a cup plug herring, prawn spinner, or just a standard small spinner. So the whole point of the bobber is that when you have current that's kind of ebbing and flowing and it's pushing real hard and then it's real soft and boiling, basically whenever the current's uneven, if you have the float on the bobber, what will happen is, is it will float the bait up off the bottom and not having your hooks and stuff get down in the weeds and the clamshells and have it lay on the bottom where also like small little, uh, small little sculpins and stuff will destroy your bait. It'll keep that bait elevated to where at least we'll be in front of the fish. The current's pulling really hard that bobber will sink down and will still lower that bait down to where the fish are going to be at at any time. So basically this bobber just acts as a good insurance policy for when your fish are real soft seam lines and on hard edges like we're going to be doing a lot of this year. There's many ways to fish herring on anchor but having that little float, having that little bobber um, in the soft kind of broken water just adds an extra insurance policy to make sure that your bait is fishing when a fish swims by. If you guys like what you see here, check us out at fishingaddictsnorthwest.com. You can also check out our YouTube channel for lots of other educational tutorials. We'll see you guys on the water.